one item which is related to the correlation coefficient and is often presented in uh, research articles is something called an R squared value. Okay? Now, because this is usually reported as a capital R squared, while the correlation coefficient is reported as a lowercase r, um, sometimes people think that, well, these two are two really different things and that we really um, you know, should learn both of them separately. It turns out, in fact, that that's not the case. The r squared value is, in fact, simply the square of the correlation coefficient. Therefore, it is easy to compute. Uh, if you know from the analysis if the research article tells you the value of r, all you have to do is multiply by itself and you get your r squared value. So you might wonder, what's the point? Well, the point is that this r squared value has a very interesting and appealing interpretation, one that starts making, starts giving us some sense about what the correlation coefficient is trying to tell us. The interpretation is the following. This r squared value represents the percentage of variability of one variable that is due to its being linearly related to the other. Ooh, what am I talking about here? Let's go back to the scatter plot. All is very, very important. Now, if you look at this scatter plot, you'll notice that the x variable, the horizontal one, has quite a bit of variability, right? It goes from here all the way to here. And similarly, the y variable goes all the way to here from here, sorry, ooh, that's a really interesting uh, line, isn't it, to up there, right? So both the x and the y variable actually have a lot of variability. But if you look at the pattern of the dots, you'll notice that really that pattern doesn't have a lot of variability, right? The data are all tightly placed along this narrow strip, right? So we can think of the variability actually being only maybe this much. Okay, That's not actually an accurate way of doing it, but that's the idea. So uh, most of the variability in a, in a correlation situation, it's possible that the variability in the individual two variables is actually due pretty much to the relationship between the two of them and the fact that they, both of them can take a large um, range of values, but the actual pattern of the relation between them is fairly tight. So this R squared value basically tells us out of the whole variability that we can see horizontally or vertically in a variable, what percentage of it is really due to the fact that the two variables are related and what percentage of it is actually left over as random variability. Okay? And so this in a way tells us uh, how good the relationship that we're looking at is, how important, how useful, uh, and therefore tell gives us quite a bit of information about whether to continue with the analysis to assume that this uh, relationship does exist and can be used or not.